Yeah, we have a lot to discuss. There's so many topics. I've been seeing your comments. I've been seeing the questions and I am going to spill all the tea. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kellys and on this channel we will actually be discussing immigration adventures and fails. <laughs> so I am a new immigrant to Canada. I moved from Trinidad and Tobago. Um, I gave up doubles for maple syrup. <laughs> right. I put my maple syrup on my doubles. <laughs> But yeah, we moved in uh, 2019, May, which is last year, and I decided that the channel would really be helpful. Since who um, are probably thinking about migration, interested, um, curious, makoshas, as we call it in Trinidad, <laughs> about migration. Um, and we did this trip knowing no one in Canada, like we knew no one. From the airport, we took a Uber to a hotel. <laughs> like when we landed here, we had absolutely no friends, no family. It was very risky and it was really an adventure. So I think that this channel is going to be about that process. I'm going to talk to you about my story, how um, some of the challenges I faced settling into a whole new culture and environment. Some of the things that I really loved and appreciated about the process. I'm going to talk about immigration routes um, and immigration news, new news, because the Canadian government, they always bring out news every couple of months. It seems they're changing something with the immigration process. So we're going to talk about that. Um, and we're going to just really be talking about things I wish I knew. It's like things to avoid. <laughs> There are some things to avoid when going through this process of moving, um, things that you should do when you first land, things that you should do within the 100 days of landing. Um, there's so much information and I get, I get questions all the time from persons looking to move to Canada, looking to move to Australia, looking to move to another country about these things, right? Like how I did it, what were some of the things I wish I didn't do, some of the regrets about the entire um, move some of the things I did that I really would recommend for everyone to do. Like Trinidad, um, my home country is so small that persons who see this video, they know me because there's like a million people in Trinidad, right? And they like contact someone else, who contact someone else, who get onto a family member of mine and get my number. And they're like messaging me, girl, <laughs> why are you not posting no videos? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? I'm like, oh gosh, I'm literally... <laughs> So I know that this is a topic that a lot of persons are interested in and uh, honestly when I was moving to Canada I looked at for a lot of YouTube I mean YouTube is like the place you go after Google right <laughs> I looked for content um, from persons from the Caribbean who moved to Canada and there was none there was no one um, within this last year I've seen a couple pop up but there was there's still a huge gap in terms of like um our cultures our traditions and how that translates into making a move to canada where it's so different the climate is so different the cultures are a little different and yeah so i think that there's a there's a market for it there's a a little niche right here where persons really like to see what are some of the things um that would be beneficial to know as a caribbean person making the move from the Caribbean to Canada. Ah, ah, ah. Like if I'm in <laughs> right? So like, subscribe, and uh, click that notification button. Yes, click it, click it, click that notification button <laughs> so that you will know every single time I post a video. And yeah, share it with your friends as well. All right, guys, so stay tuned, like, subscribe, and click that notification button, and we're gonna get this thing rolling. Bye.